Hi everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Vintage Cottage and I'm here today to show you my latest journal that I just completed. Um, this one I am naming Isabel uh, and Isabel loves flowers and butterflies. Um, this journal is a uh, ring bound journal and it measures seven three and three quarters this way by nine this way and it's covered with this beautiful um, vintage doily with crochet um, pattern on the in on the linen part and this beautiful bobbin bobbin lace going all the way around um, there's a pretty rose cabochon that's very dimensional on this in the center and the back it's the doily is wrapped all the way around to the back and it's uh, plain on the back you can see all of the embroidery uh, pattern on the back um, it comes with a uh, dangle on the side and it is removable and I'll show you how uh, when I get to the inside there's lots of laces and fibers on here and then there's also a um, a string of pearls with decorated with all kinds of um, vintage buttons uh, some of them are newer buttons but some some of them are vintage and they all have like bling or pearls on them get that pretty one there so that's the journal jewelry that comes on it I struggled to find after I I didn't give it any thought to where how I'd attach the um, the tassel until after I got the cover done and I didn't want to I normally clip it on the top but I didn't want to smush the the pretty lace going around the outside so I came up with a an attachment where the ring is attached with some um, muslin that's attached on the inside of the journal and it can be, re be removed um, this journal has 48 pages front and back and it's held together with this um, vintage lace vintage lace ties um, and inside you can see this is what's holding the um, the dangle on and it just comes down here and ties at the bottom so if you wanted to take it off or change it you could just untie that and take it off um, there's a label on the front to say what the journal is about. Um, beautiful butterfly there. Oh, I forgot. I was going to put some stickles on that to give it a little bit of shine. I'll probably do that after um, the video. Oh, I didn't show on um, on the outside. There's lots of laces, vintage laces coming off and lots of dangles. Um, and there's a little this is a little mushroom with a little mouse peeking out from behind it. It's so cute. So, so cute. I hate to, to part with that one. A little dragonfly. There's a, a bee. A little butterfly. There's a, a little flower there. And then a four-leaf clover at the bottom there. There are lots of uh, vintage laces from my collection. There's one coming off the edge there. Very pretty. Um, this is just a lace coffee, day, coffee dyed paper um, with a little, little lace cluster at the top with three different vintage laces and hiding underneath is a little butterfly. This is a page for my botanical book. Um, I can never tell just how close I need to be. Um, this is a recipe saver envelope. I just kept it showing because it is it is vintage. There's a little butterfly on there. I found a sheet of butterfly stickers in my stash when I was looking for something else. So I pulled it out and I used a, a lot of them in this, <coughs> in this journal. 
a rose backed by some vintage lace. And this flips open and inside of the envelope is a vintage recipe card that's been coffee dyed and a vintage page from the vintage uh, community recipe book with prune whip, raspberry dessert, broken glass tort, that sounds interesting, and no baked cheesecake. And it has the names of the, the people that contributed those uh, recipes to the cookbook. And just a collage with some uh, flowers. There's a collage at the bottom here, fabric collage, and a metal butterfly attached to the front there. And that's holding in this large journaling card with one of the uh, Rodote flowers from my book. This is actually the name of the flower. It was at the bottom of the page, which I had to cut off to make the tag fit. So I put it up in here in the label, one of Tracy Fox's labels. Some vintage lace on the edge there. More flower, fussy cut flowers on the back, and then more place for journaling here. Page from a botanical book. Um, this is a flip out. There's some vintage lace here. A little pocket with a tiny tag with a couple of little butterflies. You can journal on the back of that. And a butter or a dragonfly that I made up here with a die cut and some bling and some um, a, a black bling for the head and this just flips open more place for journaling flowers and another one of those butterflies um, on this side there's an altered paper clip at the top with some um, seam binding at the, at the top of it and then a CD envelope with a rose showing through it and a one of my little uh, flowers from one of my past kits and some vintage eyelet and then of course that comes out for for journaling and you've got your rose on the front you can journal on the back of the cd envelope as well um, this is a page from the ridote book also and a uh, 3d butterfly. You can see the top wings are vellum and they um, pop up. These I made oh, years ago and I also found these in my stash as I was looking for something else so there's a couple of these in the book as well. Um, this is a large pocket. The, um, the back side is vintage wallpaper and inside the pocket is some ephemera. There's a picture of Isabel when she was a baby with her mom and dad and they went to visit San Francisco, California. There's a vintage postcard from, from that trip. Um, and then some other uh, original ephemera. This is a bank receipt from Old National Bank in Spokane, Washington, uh, 1912. This is a uh, shipping Shipping receipt from 1872, Fire and Marine Insurance Agent. This is from Broadway, I guess New York, or Albany, New York. With pretty script writing on there. And then a full page from one of the 1902 farm journals that I have. This is an original. It has the original uh, advertising on it that you can scan and, and reuse. So that's the original ephemera in the pocket. Um, on the back is a quote that says, when you have nothing important or interesting to say, don't let anyone persuade you to say it. I love that. That is so funny. And then another page from a botanical book with a butterfly and some tatting going across the top and there's a tag inside there uh, it says today is a good day journal on the back another one of those butterflies from that sticker set and on the back is a lace pocket 
with vintage lace and another snippet of uh, vintage lace here and a tag with a bird you can journal on the back of that and this is a fabric flip with three different um, linens from and laces from my collection look at this one here isn't that beautiful that is gorgeous I gotta come down on that one Isn't that pretty? And this is a piece from, uh, a, it might have been a piece from clothing, but it's, it's very old and I sewed a button at the bottom to, to hold it down. And this is just uh, the, the proper name for one of the flowers in the Ridote book. I just saved it and put it down there. Um, coffee dyed paper. Um, I have several of these these longer quotes. These are from the Tim Holtz um, word sticker um, books. I use the, the shorter ones all the time on tags, but I rarely use the longer ones. So I thought I'd use some of them in here. This one says, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. That is so true of our times right now. Because there are so many things that are, have become possible because of the circumstances that we're in. Um, this is a shaker shaker card. You can see the um, beads and sequins in there. Move. You can journal here. Little butterfly. More journaling on the back. You can see through. You can actually see the bird through it on the next page. Uh, Edith Holden page. And this is a um, piece from a tablecloth. You've got the butterfly on there. And a large tag in here from Edith Holden, and I added one of the um, stickers. Uh, Live gently upon this earth is what the saying says on this one, and you can journal on the back. I've, I've been experimenting with printing on um, book text, and this is this is one of my examples. I don't know if you can see the, the text in the background of the flower. I kind of like the look. I'm gonna I'm gonna do more, do more of those. Uh, this page is from a book, a poetry book about flowers, and it has some vintage lace on the side there. Another one of those butterflies. Um, this is a vintage ledger, the original vintage ledger page. And at the bottom uh, were the holes where it was attached to the ledger. I just strung some some lace through it and a little um, bling uh, piece of jewelry is, is hanging from the middle there. And then vintage lace for the pocket. And inside it is a little miniature ledger. Um, there's a little tuck spot in the front. And just miscellaneous um, scrap paper that I had from my, my stash. And I put some miscellaneous journaling prompts, words. This one says, think, uh, you can, resolution, there's a flower, beautiful stories, and a flower on the back. So a little mini ledger tucked inside the lace pocket. And that's that ledger page. Uh, another page from a botanical book and another of the 3D um, butterflies there with a, fab or a lace collage at the bottom. And inside there is a tag. It says, have fun every chance you get. Another butterfly on there. And some stamping on the back. On the back side of that is a glassine envelope with just some paper in it for more journaling. With lace there and the decorative stitching on the on the edge. And this this is an original ledger page as well. This one is from 1921, and there's a wraparound belly band uh, with fabric and lace collage that wraps all the way around to both sides and this is the ledger page the original ledger page 
and then in it is a um, fold over journal card with some stenciling here's an oh this one you can see better the the printing the book page that this was printed on I like that look so that just slips onto there have some lace at the bottom of that and that wraps around to the back side and here is another large journaling card uh, and the saying on this one says the soul of goodness is fertile ground love and respect will grow in abundance there and just a little uh, fabric tab at the top um, stamping on the back and that just hangs over on there and there's a couple of those yo-yos from that vintage uh, bedspread that I had this is a page from that uh, Women of Flowers book and I put a butterfly on there and some vintage lace and this one has the bee charm and then on the back side this is just a definition um, dictionary definition of flower and here is a page from a ledger Mary I used a page from the ledger that you sent me and it went perfectly in here it's this pale greenish blue color really pretty and it fit perfectly it was the exact size for this journal a uh, little um, fabric lace cluster at the bottom with a butterfly pinned onto it and on this side is a large tag um, it has a flower on the front and a library catalog card tucked in there for more journaling and then there's another tag tucked in here that's collaged that slips down um, the idea for this tag came from uh, Jackie Chimes she has a series of tags and this is one of the ones that I followed along with her and um, lace on the back on the top and then you can journal on the back this page here has a um, book page uh, pocket tuck um, this one I got from Pam at the paper outpost this idea and also there's lots of people that that have done this one I think um, Gail did one as well I just put a rose on the front and there's a little tag in here and another one tucked in the back there and they both can be journaled on the back this one has some tatting on it and then in the side there's another little tag tucked in in one of the butterfly stickers and this opens up for lots of journaling space and a fussy cut flower over here and then on the back side is a an upper tuck this is from one of the die cuts that I use to make an upper tuck and there's some tatting on there and this tag the butterfly has some stickles on it with some vintage lace at the bottom and then there's a little um, a little dangle coming off of this with three pieces of lace and a little tiny um, looks like a feather charm coming off of it and this is held together with one of those jewelry uh, they use these for it's like a crimp that they use for ribbon necklaces this idea also came from Jackie Chimes I saw I saw her I don't know that she did a tutorial on it but I saw it in one of her journal flip throughs oh that is great because I have a bunch of these things and I didn't know what to do with them so now I do and I love it love that idea that just tucks up in there this is a um, tune Dex card in the collection that I purchased I, I was uh, selling there are two different sizes this size here which is kind of a double size and the regular three by five ones this one is six by five there were a lot I had a lot more of the smaller ones which are the ones I was selling uh, last weekend and I do have a few sets left um, but I'm keeping the larger ones for me they were held into this big heavy binder with these two holes 
So I thought I would take advantage of those holes, and I'll show that on the back side, but there's this beautiful vintage lace from the, on the bottom. And then at the top, it's just held together with um, some, some vintage lace, and this can be taken off and replaced, but in it is a little, a little booklet with all you know, scraps of different types of papers. And on top is a antique prescription, and this one is from 1899. It's it's an original, and it was a perfect size for this little little booklet. Uh, this page is a piano roll page, a paper. Um, I kept the words showing, and they say, uh, "The Isle of My Dream, My Dreams." land of sweet flowers and whatever was next in the in the verse but this is a flower from the women of flowers book that i fussy cut and then a couple more um, butterflies these are ones that i had done years ago they're embossed stamped embossed on um, ink dyed ink um, marbled paper and then the back is just plain for, for journaling. And another one of those longer sayings, it says, Always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder at the bottom of that page. This is a page from a botanical book with lace at the bottom. This flips up and there's journaling inside, space for journaling inside here. Um, a little cluster on the front here, collage. And then a tag, one of the silhouette tags that I was selling last weekend. I have some of these still available as well. That's tucked in there. And I just left the, the back plain. This is a vellum vellum page. Mm, I don't have anything white to stick behind it. Yeah, I do. It is printed with a pattern. Uh, this is from a paper pack that I've had for ages and I never knew what to do with the vellum so I, I put it in here because it does have you know flowers and script vintage lace and then there's a um, little flower pin or pin with a flower on it at the top there this is a, a grid ledger page little cluster um, collage at the bottom some vintage lace here and a large Edith Holden tag, and I added one of those butterflies on. Um, and a saying at the bottom says, Luck is like a chameleon. Give it a little time and it will surely change. And then some lace coming off, and then you can journal on the back, and there's a fussy cut flower. And this is a side tuck, and in the side of it is another smaller tuck spot with a tall tag in there some um, insect stamping and lace going down the tuck and inside the tuck is a large journaling card this is one of Ridote's flowers and there's the name of the flower there with just a little snippet of um, three different vintage or antique some of these are antique um, laces and more lace along the side Lots of lace in this journal. Um, this is a um, embossed vellum pocket. You can see through it. And then a rose down here, a lace along the top. And this is just extra, extra paper, uh, coffee dyed paper to either journal on or to use to cover up um, places within the journal that you might want to cover them up and, and journal on. This is a, a reproduction page from a Sears Roebuck catalog from 18, I think it's 1898. So I left the, the back plain. Um, so you could use some of that paper to cover this up if you want to use that for journaling. This is an original ledger page. It's blank and it folds out. I've got a butterfly up there and some um, fussy cut mushrooms and some bug stamps here. And it has a uh, date, memo, checks in detail, total checks, memo, deposits, balance. Those are the column headings on, on this journal. 
And then on the back is just a little um, collage tuck spot with a couple of journaling cards in there. Uh, more coffee dyed, um, lace coffee dyed paper with some washi and here's the fortune cookie in this one that unclips and opens up and you have a little fortune inside of there for whoever whoever this journal goes to. Here's another one of those um, Tim Holtz, longer Tim Holtz saying, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Uh, vintage lace along here. There's the four leaf clover um, charm. And coffee dyed paper, you can journal on that. Um, this is a hidden pocket page. This idea came from Jessica Rapp. She had done this not too long ago and I followed along with her. Um, it's called Hidden Pocket because when you take all of these tags out, you can't really tell from looking at it that there are pockets throughout that. So there's different um, journaling cards that I have tucked into the pockets. This one just has a little um, has a little tag there and a piece of fabric, and they both move. That one goes in here. And there's another pocket there, and another one up here. And then I left. Uh, the back blank. There's my handmade by tag. And on the back cover is this was the last page in that Women of Flowers. It says Fini, which is the French for the end. And there's just an, another piece of um, paper for journaling tucked into there. And that is Isabel. Um, I hope you like it. Um, Isabel is for sale. The information will be uh, down below in the description box if you're interested in purchasing her. And that's all I have for today. And my next journal, I think, is going to be. I had purchased. I had purchased this book, and it's actually not the book that I intended to purchase but the seller sent me the wrong book. Um, and it's a, um, Flower Fairies, and the artist is, what's her name? Cicely Mary Barker. She's famous for these illustrations um, of flower fairies. This is not the book that I had intended to buy. The one I intended to buy had was smaller and had was smaller and would have been a better size for journals. But I'm going to make the best out of this. Um, I see the potential to fussy cut some of these those gorgeous images. Don't get me wrong, I, I still love the, love the book. I just have to find a way to use it. Um, so I, I think I'm going to try my hand at fussy cutting some of these images so that they're the right size for either tags or journal pages. And I think my next journal will revolve around these um, flower fairies because they are beautiful. So colorful. And then um, I may do some tags um, from this book for sale as well. So that, that is potentially my next journal, uh, Flower Fairies. But that's all I have for today. I will have a video this Saturday. Um, I'm just going to give you a couple of hints. Vintage and shabby chic. That's all I'm going to say. You have to watch the video on Saturday. That's it for now. Bye.